Hey guys, uh, doing a little bit different thing today. Today we will look at my favorite ones that I've got. I've got them on a shelf in my office you saw in a previous video. We'll get right to it. I don't want to take too long, but I cannot go forward without giving credit to the idea for this, which would be Mr. Saul with Saul's Diecast Dynasty, or excuse me, Saul's Diecast Odyssey. Go check out his channel if you haven't. A lot of you apparently have because it is really taking off. He does a stack and pack Plano. Uh, this is my take on that. I wanted to show off my cars on my shelves and this is how I'm gonna do it. Uh, full credit to Saul for the idea though. So starting off on this very bottom row, we're gonna start with the line of Aston Martins. And forgive me, I don't know exactly which one it is maybe a db7 maybe this is one of the bond vehicles from another brand not hot wheels not uh i believe it might be johnny lightning there's not a lot of information on the bottom if someone knows and can help me out i used to collect astons all the time you can see it is a really exceptional model most of these vehicles will have rubber tires these are the best of my collection. This one has loads of detail, grill, paint for headlamps, right-hand drive, black interior, full lamp detail on the rear, and a metal base. So, possibly Johnny Lightning, not sure, but we're gonna start it off, putting him right there. Up next, this, full, this row will be all Astons. So this is a Welly, if you guys don't know this brand. Uh, they're out of Hong Kong, but they are Pretty big worldwide. Uh, this Aston is really sharp. This is not one of the ones that has rubber wheels. Uh, these are plastic, as most Welly are. A little bit of detail on the rear and a little bit of extra color with an insert on the hood. I like the wheels. Don't get me wrong, they look good and they've got a little bit of tire tread detail, especially on the, the outside edges, uh, but they just look pretty realistic. So we'll keep moving. I don't want this to be too long. This is one of my favorites of all time right here. This is the one that uh, we all want in real life, to be honest. Not, uh, not necessarily this diecast, but this diecast is exceptional. This is one of the premiums from Hot Wheels metal base, rubber tires, 2013 release, good old DB5. Great job by Hot Wheels. All right, next up, another Hot Wheels. There's not a whole lot of Hot Wheels left. They keep getting bumped by the premium cars that I uh, have been fortunate enough to find but this is one that is still hanging around. Perfect for the Austin Martin line on the shelf. See it right there. Of course, it's upside down. Another DB5. DBS, rather. My bad. And last for the Astons. I hate that I don't know which, which one this is. I should know this chrome trim around the, the windows, around the doors, wipers look good, lots of detail on the front, lights, great wheels. This is a Johnny Lightning version and I just don't know because they just really don't put a whole lot of information on their cars. Just as plain Mantis, made in China, chrome all over the place. Everyone, I'll know it as soon as I turn the camera off. Up next, we'll go with the Bond theme for the next one. A good old Lotus Esprit. A lot of you guys love the Hot Wheels version. This is one I picked up a long time ago. It's a Johnny Lightning. Rubber tires, great rims. Lotus on the back and full lamp detail. Just a little bit of uh, striping on the side. Great one, you get a registration plate and front headlamps. Up next, another Welly. I do like my Welly. 
this is a Maserati. I don't have a whole lot of Maserati. This is called a Levante. And Welly did a good job on it. Front and rear lamp details. I don't know if that's going to come in. Yeah, there you go. You got your Maserati badge right there. Plastic base. I guess a hole if you want to display your $2 Welly. But uh, chrome grill with a very visible and very clear logo. So great job. Most of these on here should be really outstanding pieces. Uh, we will go with another Welly. This is a Range Rover. And you can see, I don't know if you can see in the chrome, it's got the Range Rover on the bonnet like it should. A little bit of detail on the front. Coming around. And you'll have to remember, this is a Euro shelf, so everything on here is European. You're not going to see a lot of any JDM or American muscle. Love this Renault. Absolutely love it. Classic, classic car. Can't get a whole lot of detail for you on the bottom. This is a Norev, N-O-R-E-V, made in France. And I apologize, this is a Peugeot. I've got a Renault on my mind because it's a fantastic rally car coming up. All right, Mini GT. We're going to keep on moving so this doesn't get too long. Love Mini GT. Let's make sure that that is what it is. Yep. Fantastic BMW. Chrome on the front. Lensed headlamps. With some chrome behind them. Metal base. Rubber tires. Rear view mirrors. Always a plus. And lensed tail lamps. Look how sharp that is with the M series extra badge as well as a BMW badge M3 all right here well here's one that we all know we just saw it not too long ago my Rolls-Royce Phantom check a check out the spirit of ecstasy oh I've already look at that well that's how fragile the hood ornaments are I'm gonna push that up wow I'll have to get some get some glue to fix that it is super fragile car is amazing lensed lamps everywhere we won't spend a whole lot of time we just saw that one Rolls Royce Phantom and he'll be going to the shop for repairs next up green light very fragile one as well Type 3, I believe it's a 1965. Pretty cool. It's got the t uh, tow package on it. This luggage rack has come off and been put on tons of times. That's part of the reason these are on the shelf. Some of these are pretty delicate. I love the rims colored to match the paint body. Okay, Porsche 911 Turbo by Schuko out of Germany. Lensed headlamps. Great Porsche badge. Outstanding paint job. Great rims. Rubber tires. Lenses all over the back. And there you see the Porsche badge. Metal base. These are, I haven't done it yet, but these come with screws. So if you did want to custom or do a wheel swap, they make it kind of easy for you. All right, all you fans in the UK should recognize this little number right here. Good MG Roadster, absolutely not 164 scale. You'll see as I put it next to the Porsche, it's big, but man, it looks great. If you did this in 164, which you'll see some of the smaller cars in the collection that are 164, it's, they're small. This is Johnny Lightning. No idea. This thing is probably 20 years old. Hood opens. I'll get that open here for a second. A little bit of engine detail in there. And I'm sorry, I'm floating around. The cars are hovering in air. I'm doing all of this standing up. This is the car I was talking about earlier. 
when I had the Peugeot in my hand. This Renault, very famous rally car. Just an amazing piece from Norev. Renault 5 Turbo. Awesome. Halfway there, we'll speed it up. Matchbox, I think this is best ever or something like that series. A Bentley GT. Best of the world is what they called it. GT Continental. Really deep blue paint job. Pretty good detail on the front with the headlamps. Come around on the rear, you get a badge and tail lamps. Here's one of the ones I was talking about. This is a Kyosho. Check out this little Alfa Romeo. Now, when I put this on the shelf, you can really see a disparity in the size. You get full lensed headlamps. Classic Alfa badge on the side there for this vehicle. Lens tail lamps. Plastic base. And this is a Kyosho brand. You can see the size difference. It's almost, I guess it's true 164. And because of that, I had to put something similar close by to it. This Jag is one of my favorites. I believe this is a this is a Shuko. This was a gift from my buddy in Estonia. This was, I believe, my first Shuko, if I remember right. Check out the chrome detail on the wipers. Chrome insert for bumper, tail lamps. One of my favorite pieces. Very sentimental piece right there. Up next, actually another gift from Christian. Uh, this is a Johnny Lightning Land Rover. Is this a Discovery? I'm sure, I think it is. Fully loaded up, snorkel on it. Winch on the front. Fantastic piece. Tires, you get a full regular tire on the rear. A little bit of detail on the bottom for the lamps. Love this piece. Coming up next, here's Welly's offering of a classic Beetle. I do like this version. It's big. It's three inches. It's not 164. They made it to fit in the blister. But chrome all around. Registration plate on the back. Just says VW Beetle. Chrome bumper. Plastic tires on this one, but an outstanding paint job. First, first one for the next one is a Renault. This is a Twin Go, and this is a Majorette, if I recall correctly. Yep. We'll keep on moving. We'll get to the top soon enough. Have a Mercedes G Wagon from Welly. A little bit of detail on the front. Chrome wheels. Good interior. Fantastic paint job. Wheel cover with the badge on it. There's the bottom of it. Got this one off of eBay. Some guy sold this and a black one for $10. So had to snatch those up. And Hot Wheels makes a return to the party. With this Maserati, great badge on the front. I love the brand Maserati, not a lot of them out there. But on this Hot Wheels, you get full lamps on the rear, plastic base, of course. Interior is tan, that looks great. Not sure why they did a chrome base. There's no bumper. But detail on the front with the badge, not a bad piece at all. Matchbox, didn't want to get left out apparently. Transport cab, fantastic paint job. Badge on the front, 
good lamp detail. It's just a cool little truck. He's hauling some junk in the back. Just don't have any other version of this casting. And won't focus there. There you go. Try and splash a little bit of color in there, here and there when I can. Uh, this Audi right here is a strong contender for one of the top five. This is by Era Car, one of the newer brands out of China. But take a look at this Audi. Lensed lamps, rubber tires, great wheels. Doors open, but in this case, well, as soon as I say that this brand, when you open the doors, they, they sit flush may not appear that way on camera, but without being under the magnification, it really does sit flush. It's a great car. Last row, got some kind of funky VW van that I found at a die cast show. Maybe a concept vehicle, I'm not sure, micro bus. You guys can tell me if these are roaming the streets of Europe because I've never seen one in real life. I bet Saul could tell me. Updated version of a VW bus. And this one is Playing Mantis, so that'll be Johnny Lightning. Plastic wheels on that one. One of my favorites, Mr. Diecast Dude himself helped me acquire this Citron, however you say it, lensed headlamps. Just an iconic vehicle known all over the world. I even loved this car as a kid growing up. This was what I thought of when I thought of European vehicles. Here's what you get on the rear. This is Norev, plastic wheels, but really an outstanding vehicle. Look at that rear end, unlike anything else. Car may have been ahead of its time. There's a police version of that out there I might have to grab. This is Atomica Premium Ferrari. Atomica Premium is the middle. If you recall, there's Atomica, the baseline, then you've got Atomica Premium, then you've got Atomica Limited Vintage, and it is uh, heavy duty stuff. You'll pay a lot of money for it. I, I like these Tomica Premiums, but only the ones that don't have opening doors. I just think it takes away from the smoothness of the car. Look at the chrome trim and the authentic wheels. Full lamp detail on the rear. Here's the base. Dino 246 GT. Lovely car. And I won't spend very long at all on this one. We saw this London cab, not a first edition, as pointed out by Chasing Diecast Cars. This was done when they were doing a lot more detail on the vehicles. Registration pla plate, authentic wheels, plastic base, London City cab. Last one, only car I have from, uh, it's a Czech Republic maybe, that does a Skoda. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. There you see Octavia. So the name of this sedan. This is by Welly. Pretty good detail on the front. Great paint job. Black trim piece that goes around. Let's see if we can get the badge to come into focus. Yeah, there we go. Fantastic car. Well, that's the first half of this shelf. I'll show you the rest in another video. Thanks for hanging around, checking it out. And I've got some premium stuff arriving later this week. We'll get that video out as well. Take care, you guys. I hope you had a great weekend.